Everybody, first things first, what is it that we want to do? Let's stay calm, cool, and collected. What's the first thing we want to do? Read the question. Read the question. So, here we go. The question sentence says, how long did the trip home take if the trip to the beach took seven hours? So, let me highlight this. How long did the trip home take? That's what we want. They give you some extra information. They tell you that the trip to the beach took seven hours. So everybody, in that one sentence, in the question sentence, first and foremost, yes or no, do you understand that what we're looking for is how long it took us to get home? Number one, how long it took us to get home? Does that make sense? Again, we're going to take this step by step here. I got you. So great. If you can understand that we're just finding out the time, how long it took to get home, great first step. Now, the second thing I want to point out is this. Do you also see that there are two situations, two scenarios? There's a scenario where we are going home and a scenario that took seven hours, us going to the beach. So we have a scenario coming home and a scenario going to the beach. Do we see that there are two scenarios in this problem? Now, I'm not asking you if you know what to do with it. I am not asking you if you know what to do with it. I'm simply asking if you notice the two scenarios. Cool. And again, don't worry about doing too much. It's my job to help you get there and climb that ladder. I got you. But let's first notice that again, we have two scenarios, one where we're going to the beach and one where we're coming back home from the beach. So that's gonna be very important. And I'm gonna take note of that. I'm gonna take note of that right over here. I'm gonna say, going home and then I'm also gonna write over here and I'm gonna say to the beach I'm gonna color code it consistently to the beach right over there so let's see what information we should write down first in that same question sentence like I said the trip to the beach took seven hours so I'm gonna say time equals seven hours what I'm looking for on the trip going home is the time, right? I'm looking for this. So I'm gonna highlight this. I am going to highlight this. I'm looking for that. Before we continue, just wanna take a quick moment to thank you for watching this video. And all I ask is that you please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That way more people just like you can see these videos. But on top of that, if you're looking for more ways to practice the right way and raise your score with guidance without stressing, then I really wholly 100% recommend my ASVAB All Access program. The program, long story short, helps you watch, practice, and master every topic from the word knowledge to paragraph comprehension, arithmetic reasoning, math knowledge, general science. It's there and it's designed to help you succeed with practicing the right way. So with that said, check out the link in the description to see how it all works because you're gonna have ways to learn in every way that you prefer. And you get my guidance and my support all the way until you pass. So don't hesitate, stop feeling nervous and being anxious and letting yourself feel that way when there's a solution waiting right here for you. Check out the link in the description, that way you see how it works, and then reach out to me if you have any questions about it. Let's get back to raising our scores. Let's go ahead and read through the information. There's gonna be some very important keywords that we wanna highlight. Right over here, number one. Karen biked to the beach and back home on the same route. Everyone, what do you think that might mean? If we see that someone goes to the beach and then they go back home on the same exact route, what might that mean? So Damien says same distance, Landis says same direction or same road, all being true. Joanna says same distance again. It looks like we might have a pattern showing up. What do you guys think? Same road, Farah. Same distance, Josephine. Okay, let's just see what we keep going, coming up with. But I'm gonna highlight that. So on the same route, beach and back home, on the same route. I'm gonna leave that highlighted. It's gonna be very important in a moment. So let's keep going here. What does it say next? On the way to the beach, so on the way there, Karen biked at a rate of 12 miles per hour. Okay, everybody, quick question. 
I'm going to say that again, this is to the beach. So I'm going to use blue here on the way there. Blue, that's what we're doing to the beach. It says Karen biked at a rate of 12 miles per hour. Everyone, what does that 12 mean? What does that 12 mean? Can you tell me what that information means? Yeah, that's right. That is right. Can we look at some things here, some words that might really give that away? What should we underline if we're trying to convince ourselves that this is a rate that we're looking at? What should I underline? Miles per hour. Absolutely, absolutely something I should be highlighting. Let me go ahead and do that in uh, blue here. The word per gives it away, miles per hour. And it definitely says the word rate. <laughs> it definitely said the word rate. So we can also rely on that too. So does everybody see here that that is a rate? They say a rate of 12 miles per hour. The word per gives it away too. Do we all see that before we continue? Good, 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 good. So I'm gonna write that in blue. That's going to the beach. Hang tight, we're collecting all the information. So my rate is 12 miles per hour. And then it says, and biked at a rate, let me go and highlight it for you, and biked at a rate of 28 miles per hour on the way back. Okay, 28 miles per hour on the way back. So going home, everybody, that's where that would belong, right? Going back, going home, that's where that belongs, that's where that rate belongs. Cool. All right, so everybody think about it like this. Uh, I'm looking at this question now, and if I'm only looking at the red, if I'm only looking at the red, let me move that right over there. If I'm only looking at that right up there, I'm looking for the time I have the rate. Isn't it true that if I wanted to plug this into the distance rate time formula, I would need to know what the distance is, right? I would need to know what the distance is. Okay, I'm glad that you guys agree because yes, that's true. If we wanted to plug this into the formula, we would still need to have what our distance is. Let me get this out of the way. The distance, we need to know what that is so we can set up our distance equals rate times time and then we can just plug and chug and solve. But that's the problem. I don't know what my distance is. Everybody, where should I go back to to give myself a nice hint? Where should I turn my head back to? Okay, Landa, although that's true, why is that true? Oh, you're saying we should look to the beach? Okay, if I'm looking at to the beach, everybody, the time is seven hours, the rate is 12 miles per hour, Okay, let's pretend that we found the distance here. Let's pretend. How do we know that this distance here is gonna work for that distance over there? How do we know? How do we know? Yeah, now we're starting to see it. Let's go back to that highlight, everybody. Let's go back to that highlight. On the same route. On the same route. That means, everybody, is it fair to say that if I go to the beach and I come back on the same route, if I go five miles to the beach and I take the same route coming home, is it true that it'll be five miles coming back? Is that true? Boom, and that's the truth. So here's the point we can make. If I find the distance here, this distance, and this distance, they are the same. They are the same. That's the big key. So it's not a very simple, hey, distance rate time, plug it in. No, it's a, hey, I need the distance for this formula. So let's go ahead and use the information we have. If I find this distance, I can then plug it in. Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and do rate times time. 
So that's going to be 12 times 7. My part of me, but what is 12 times 7? What's that going to be? 84. 84 what? Help me out. 84 what? 84 miles. So if the distance to the beach is 84 miles, what is the distance going home? If the distance to the beach is 84 miles, what's the distance going home? Exactly, 84 miles as well, because again, we took the same route. So we can automatically write 84 miles right here. And now that we have that, this is where we can solve the problem. This is where we can set up our distance rate time and say my distance is 84 miles, my rate is 28 miles per hour, and I am looking for time. Exactly, Delilah. All we're gonna do now moving forward is solve that equation. And like Delilah says, we have to work backwards. We have to divide 28 on both sides to get that done because we want to get t by itself. So let's go ahead and do it, and we're set. Divide by 28 on both sides. That's going to cancel out the 28. And it's me again, your coach Anderson. Look, you're doing these problems right here on YouTube, but I want you to join me for a live class that's free once a week. I do this because I want to help other people succeed just like you. So if you want to raise your score, sign up for my free classes once a week. They're hosted on Zoom. And on top of that, you'll get my free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every mistake. So there's no reason not to sign up. So go ahead, get off your butt, sign up here, the link there, somewhere over here, figure it out, but sign up and I'll see you in the next class, my ASVAB party people. Let's get back to the problem. Does anybody know what 84 divided by 28 is off the top of their head? A lot of us here are saying three, that is true. One way you can figure that out is by using a little bit of mental math too. You could simplify a little bit. Even if you didn't want to do this big division, you might be able to tell that, hey, we just saw that 84 is 7 times 12. 28, does a 7 go in there, everybody? Does a 7 go into 28? Yeah, so if you wanted to simplify this for yourself a little bit, you absolutely could. Again, we got T equals 84 divided by 28. We can absolutely divide out from both sides, top and bottom, a 7. If we do that, that ends up being 12 over 4. And everybody, what's 12 over 4? It's actually pretty easy. 12 divided by 4 is going to be 3. Exactly. So that's going to be nice and easy there in terms of the calculation. But the setup might have been a little difficult, right? But with that said, the final answer there would be 3 hours. That's exactly how long it'll take Karen to bike if we're going on the same exact route. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there, and you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe, and raise your score.